Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I paid $2 for Zenbound 2. Zenbound 2 normally retails for $5. Zenbound comes to us from Secret Exit Limited. Apparently the original Zenbound was something of a hit for the iOS systems, for the iPhones and pads and whatnot. Uh, Zenbound 2 is on the PC, Mac, and all of those sort of i devices. I imagine it's probably on the Android devices as well. In its original form, it was it was sort of a touch game. Uh, it is interesting looking. Uh, I really have no idea uh, what it is or how it works. All I see every time I look at images are things with ropes wrapped around them. So we're going to kind of discover this game together. I don't know how deep this game is. It seems to have a lot of levels. Uh, or a lot of progression if these are indicating trees if this is 0 of 15 levels, 0 of 36 levels, I'm not sure, or 0 of 15 flowers but then how does one get flowers? I, I don't know. The game is not at its core very forthcoming in exactly how it works so uh, yeah let's go ahead and just get into this I'm really anxious to see what the hell this is so uh, I guess we start out on the tree of introduction that seems as good a place as any to start All right, I'm on a tree. Okay, classic gameplay. I have no record there. All right, let's play. Uh-huh. All right, well, um, there's a bird. No, no sort of control explanation to speak of, although since I know it's a touch game, I'm going to assume that uh, I'm going to just sort of do a drag with the mouse, I guess. We'll try to, there, yep, there we go. Okay, so I can rotate. All right. Okay, so I can rotate this falcon thing. Uh huh. Okay, there's a rope at the bottom. Ah, I see. Okay, so am I supposed to wrap this thing up? I have no idea what's going on right now. Okay. <laughs> this is definitely an interesting little game. Oh, I kind of got it stuck on the nail on the back there. Oh, okay, that works. Oh, it's sort of like it's discoloring the... Huh. Okay. I see over in the lower left-hand corner there's a percentage going up. And I also see here in the right-hand corner there is a centimeter counter going up so do I just have to kind of wrap this thing up minimum goal reached well that's great um, hmm. all right Whoa, what did it say M medium goal reached Tie up the glowing nail, okay. The glowing nail. Oh, okay. I guess I did it. Um, I win. Ah, uh, okay. I, my current and my previous are the same because I've only done the one. Um, is there something else I can, whoa, okay, um, collect one flower to light up a lantern, okay, I have one flower, touch a hanging wooden tag, Oh, so do I have to get a better score? Okay. This game is supposed to be all soothing and relaxing, but point of fact, it's frustrating the hell out of me because I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Um... I want to cover you in rope, bird, damn it. 
Okay. Okay, I'm strangling this bird with rope. There you go. Get tied up. Get tied up, bird. That's what I'm talking about. Get yourself tied up. I really have absolutely no idea what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here other than apparently tying up this bird. Okay, somehow I just got up to 99% from 81%. Okay, I got 100%. I, I kind of feel like I'm getting it. So you want to get your percentage up as high as possible. Oh, I made flowers bloom. Oh, well that's nice. The path upwards is lit. Okay, I guess these are the shapes that I... Okay, nail bombs. That doesn't sound very nice. Oh, look at that. Wow, yeah, this game is interesting. I guess, you know, I'm just... Don't don't overthink it, I suppose. You see a wooden moose, just tie it up with rope. Just, just do it. Is there something I'm supposed to do related to these little... Pins? getting some kind of a bonus if I wrap around the pins but I don't know what the hell I'm actually doing okay all right let's see can I wrap around this pin right here there we go, 100%. And then I need to bring it over to this nail. Huh. Huh. Okay. More flowers. I'm kind of starting to get sort of the feel, the, the zen rope bomb. Sort of the zen feeling of this game. What is this, a hippopotamus? Very nice. All right, Mr. Hippopotamus. Ooh, okay. What are those things? Are those the aforementioned rope bombs? It's just like, there's just going to be long points of silence as I try to contemplate what the hell I'm experiencing right now. Okay, 98%. Man, okay, well, I can definitely see how this game would succeed on a, um, on a touch device, on an eye device. Um, it's a little bit weird to kind of sit down and actually just play this game on a PC. It, it, it does give me a bit of an odd feeling. Oh, they're actually making him yellow. A little yellow ducky. Okay, wow, that didn't take long. I want to get 100%. My goal is 100%. I, I won't feel zen. Okay, there it is. And tie it up. Bloop. Oh, my ducky. Oh, and then you can... Oh, you can actually look at your... 
your poor tortured ducky. I bet people who like uh, bondage, especially those dudes who like to, you know, tie like 36 loops of rope around a chick's boob, but those guys would really be into this game. Really into this game. Nail bombs number two. Let's do one or two more and then I think we can pretty much call it. I don't imagine that this game has much more to offer, especially knowing its origins as a cell phone game. As a smartphone game, excuse me, a smartphone game. Oh, porcupine. Come on, porcupine. So, I mean, I do think it has an interesting concept. It, you know, it adds a dimension by having these little, you know, these little nails and uh, the things that you have to sort of activate. 99%. I, that's good enough for me. Huh. My little hedgehog. All tied up. So I seem to be pretty, doing pretty well. I guess I got to the very top, and I got an achievement. Chiefs! Oh yeah. Getting the hang of it. So I completed the Tree of Introduction. I got all but one. Huh. Okay, so the completionist in me would want to come back to that, I'm sure. Especially if this was the sort of thing that I was playing on a commute or something. Um, I could see how this game, how you could really benefit from uh, from having something like this. It's super simple. It doesn't demand a lot of your brain. It's just, hey, let's just do a little, little something. Let's do a little, little weird bondage on wooden statues. Whoa, what is that? Is that like a person kneeling? It looks like Cthulhu. Oh. Okay getting distracted here this is just, this this thing is bizarre it's like sort of like a person in the fetal position wow okay come on now release there we go let's wrap him up let's wrap him up let's keep wrapping keep wrapping him let's keep wrapping him up wrapping him up wrapping him up Okay, I can see this one is actually... Now they're starting to really pull out the stuff on me. You know, this is a little bit of a... Uh, of an interesting shape. So I can see the strategy that can evolve in this. Because it's actually... You actually have to kind of pick your... Pick your moves. You know, I, I probably screwed this pooch from the very beginning by being really haphazard with how I was lacing my ropes. And you can see I'm running out of rope over here. Wow, yeah, because I'm not even in here in, like, the armpit area. I didn't get down here. Huh. So, yeah, I'm glad that I played this level because it's... It's showing me that this game does, in fact, have a... Um, it's got another level to it. And that's really... It's really interesting, because at its surface, this concept seemed so simple. I gotta unwind now because I'm out of rope. Crud. There we go. Bling! Huh. Alright, so yeah, it's actually showing me that this isn't just some simple spin-the-thing-around game. You actually need to think a little bit. That's kind of surprising me, frankly. Oh, that's a weird-looking thing. Preparation. Oh, my lord. Okay. So, yeah, like I was saying, um, it actually looks like you kind of got to think with this. That's really cool, because I, I would not have initially suspected that this game had quite the challenge factor that I can kind of see in it now. Um, yeah. This is actually... This is actually quite a smart concept. Now, now that I sort of delve to the next level, I mean, as a puzzle game, I can see how people would really, really put time and effort into figuring out the exact pattern, uh, the best way to start, uh, the best way to start the process of, of turning where your first loop should go uh yeah 
yeah, this uh, this game surprised me here in the last couple of minutes. Actually, I mean, I'm not uh, I'm not honestly shy about saying that it, it it came from out of nowhere, and honestly proved itself to be a lot more than what it appears to be on the surface. 99%. I'll never get 99%. Ugh. Okay, so yes, yeah, Zenbound 2, color me impressed. Uh, just don't tie me up in, you know, 100 centimeters of rope. So yeah, it, it is actually quite an interesting concept. So here you see it, Zenbound 2, if you are a... Uh, if you are one of those i folks out there or smarty phoners uh, with your android business and all that stuff maybe this is something worth a try i mean I, I can definitely see the appeal of a game like this in short stints you know five ten minutes here and there wrapping something up but then i can also see how someone like me gaming on the pc could really find this game interesting because there is strategy here that, that it did there's strategy in this game that was not immediately obvious so yeah, this this shape is also weirding me out. All of these shapes look vaguely like sexual positions. Hmm. Right. All right, guys. Well, um, Zenbound Two. There you have it. I uh, I've actually enjoyed this game far more than I thought I would. I kind of thought when I purchased this game this was going to be a throwaway, but uh, it actually has kind of sucked me in. Believe it or not. Wow. All right. Well, uh, I have been Big Dave, and uh, until next time, guys. Take it easy.